I was just gonna start this video and I thought I should check myself out in the mirror and I realized I had chocolate smeared on my lip. And I just realized how sad that is when you see someone with food on their mouth and they don't know it because it just makes it seem like they're like old and addled and they, they don't realize like they have food on their mouth. Anyways, I'm glad I checked the mirror. Anyways, um, okay, this is sad. This is my house for the last 13 years. My beautiful, beautiful, beautiful house. And I was told a week ago that the man that owns it wants to sell it. So I've been in this house for 13 years because my ex-husband and I bought it back in 2004 when my daughters were little. Uh, my youngest was four. My, um, Ryan was 18 months old and we had Owen here. And um, we watched this house being built and we've, it's the longest I've lived anywhere in my whole life. And um, I've had many memories here. I've raised my kids here. Owen was born, well not in the house, but he was born while we've been here at this house. Um, and so um, I lost it back in a couple years after my divorce. I couldn't pay for it anymore. And I had asked, um, or the man that bought it from me decided to sell it back. God, I can't talk. Um, the man that bought it from me rented it back to me. So he was just an angel. I, it was the best scenario that we could even think of. So he rented it back to me at a very low price. It was only $1,900 a month for a four bedroom, which may sound like a lot of money to some people, but where I live, that's cheap. And so he never upped my rent in the last seven years. It's been $1,900 a month for seven years straight. So between child support and um, my subbing and having exchange students and doing everything I could, to make ends meet with three kids. Um, we got through it, we made it. So, you know, we still drive the same minivan we've had for 14 years and um, life isn't, you know, uh, it's good, you know, it's good. We're not rich at all. We live paycheck to paycheck and we just get by. So the bad part is, is that I can't afford this house. It's a $580,000 home at this point and uh, I don't have a half a million dollars to spend on a house. Um, that's not what my account looks like. So um, it looks like we are going to have to move and it's a really sad thing. Um, it's really heartbreaking. I feel like this house is my baby. I watched it, like I said, I watched it being um, built and my kids and I have a lot of memories here and um, it's a hard, so that's one part that's hard. The second part is that we don't know where we're gonna go and uh, we don't even know what we can afford at this point. I'm trying to see if I can uh, um, get a loan. I'm a, a new home buyer at this point, so they're seeing if I qualify for that, which would be great, I don't know though. But so basically, where I live, rents that are about, uh, for like a three bedroom, which would be one room short of what we have, we'd have to put some kids together. Um, is, you know, it's in the $3,000 range. And that's not, um, that's not anything nice, <laughs> I have to say. Um, if you want something nice with three bedrooms, you're probably gonna pay more like 4,000 a month. So this is um, of money I can't afford. So I'm not sure what, what we're doing at this point. So we'll just figure it out as we go along. It's um, scary and it's sad and it's, um, it's, yeah, it's heartbreaking. So, um, I'm gonna miss this house. I've enjoyed it so much. And, um, you know, I just figured at this point we'll land on our feet because we always do. We've had a lot of bumps along the way. And i um, just thankful that this didn't happen um, a year ago because a year ago I was over on that couch um, barely making it. So thank God it's a year later and um, my health is fine. But I have to go. We have to go. So um, that'll be part of my um, my videos. You know, you guys will see where I'm going, which I don't know where it's gonna be right now. And um, I'm sorry for being, you know, emotional in all my videos, but this is a big, this is a big, um, it's just really sad. <laughs> it's hard to think about this place not being here, it's hard to think about leaving here for the last time. It's hard to think about ever coming by here again and knowing there's someone else living in it. Um, houses just become part of your family, so anyways, um, I just wanted to say that part. I have to go back to work now and um, 
I will be back with some more information about other stuff when I'm not feeling so emotional. Anyways, a little thinny. Oh, what do you want? What's this on? Bubbles. What? Bubbles. Hey, Owie. Having fun? Oh, God. Having fun, right, right? Okay, fun. Can I go all the way out? No. Can I go all the way out? Go ahead. Thanks. Oh, and don't. You don't have shoes on. I'm with it. It's gonna fall on Oh, was that lightning? Yeah. Oh. I got Thomas, you've been so, so, me, Luna. 